For the parents out there, if you want to know how to give your child the best day of his or her life, it's pretty simple, really. Just set low expectations on all the other days. <laughs> That's how my dad did it. We all have lunches prepared for us as children. My dad decided he would make the worst lunches ever. So on the off chance I'd have a good lunch, it would be a great day. <laughs> my dad's go-to lunch meat was something called mock chicken. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows what that is. I'll tell you what it isn't, chicken. It's not chicken. <laughs> it's called mock chicken because the other lunch meats mock it while it's sitting there. <laughs> So I ate a lot of mock chicken growing up until one day, weird, I got sick. And that's when my dad decided, from now on, soup. Not a variety of soups, because he only knew how to make one. Split pea soup. I guess it's one of the easier soups. You throw peas in water, they split, you're done. My dad would make vast quantities of split pea soup. I'm not talking just a big, like, pasta pot. I'm talking a cauldron. I, I'm pretty sure he stole it from witches. <laughs> I had split pea soup every day for lunch at school. And this is how my dad would save it for me. Not in Tupperware. That's too expensive. No, we saved it in margarine containers. <laughs> yeah? And my dad had this one other trick to maintain the freshness of the split pea soup. He would freeze it. He would freeze it till just before he gave it to me. In the morning. <laughs> thinking that in between the morning and the lunch hour, the soup would somehow transform itself from a frozen block to a steaming bowl of deliciousness. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, that never happened. Because for one thing, we didn't have microwaves at my school. So my best chance was just to sit on the soup throughout the morning. I don't know how many of you ever tried to trade your lunches at school. <laughs> Let me tell you where on the hierarchy of trading lunches split pea soupsicles are. <laughs> they are right at the very bottom. That's where they are. You can't make split pea soupsicles sound good. I was begging kids with mock chicken sandwiches <laughs> to trade me. I'd be like, Ted, come on, Ted, try the split pea soupsicle. It's fun. When you lick it, your tongue sticks. You might get the afternoon off. So how does this lead to my best day as a child? I'll tell you. One day for lunch, I opened it up. Yes! Margarine! <laughs> I got a margarine! And it was one we had tried to spread on toast so there was little breadcrumbs in it. It's like poor people's croutons. So what have we learned today from me, Montreal? Well, we've learned that mock chicken is bad. We've learned that split pea soupsicles are worse. <laughs> and we've learned that we should all know more French. Maybe not you guys, because most people in Montreal do speak both languages, which makes you, by the way, the smartest city in the world. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> yep. You know a whole other language that most of Canadians don't know, and I, I think that is very impressive. Uh, but there is uh, one little problem with that. If you know a whole other language, then at least part of that part of your brain that knows that language is supposed to be used for something else. <laughs> Took me six years of living here to realize it's the part that works the brake pedal. <laughs> That's not your fault. That is not your fault, Montreal. But as I said, I wish I knew more French. And uh, if I could give uh, advice to all the Canadians out there watching, learn some French, all right? And uh, I think of no better way of learning than through song. So I've written a song about how I feel about Montreal, incorporating every French word that I know. <laughs> Mix it in with English. I hope you like it. <clears throat> Montreal is a place where visage means face. And that face is always smiling, toujours en sourire. <laughs> well, les femmes are très belles, and the men are as well. <laughs> Not that they look at me, je ne suis pas that way. <laughs> and you can say bienvenue, but some say de rien. You could say merci beaucoup, 
But some say merci bien. And if you need something, you just say besoin. Montreal, I love you. Je...